Throughout the history of mankind, we see that decisive advances in civilization have always been made possible by the discoveries of individuals. All these discoveries, whether technical, cultural or scientific, were based on ideas. Ideas born out of considerations and observations, maturing during years of work and research. The results of these ideas were developments that appear self-evident to us, but made all the difference in the evolution of human history. Good health is possible. One of the worst threats to human health has always been infectious disease. For centuries, medicine was helpless against epidemics that swept across the land, killing tens of thousands of people. In 1796, an English physician, Edward Jenner, injected a boy with the cowpox serum, thus protecting the child against smallpox. This was the birth of vaccination. In the years to follow, great chemists and doctors like Louis Pasteur, Robert Koch and Rudolf Virchow discovered more and more vaccines, slowly defeating most infectious diseases. To the people of the time it must have seemed a miracle. For centuries, infectious diseases were the most common cause of death. In our day, this role has been taken over by diseases of the cardiovascular system. In the industrial world, nearly one in every two people dies of such a disease, a heart infarction, stroke or the like. In days of old, people thought the major epidemics were an act of God. Today, most people believe that they cannot change the fact that cardiovascular diseases are the number one scourge of mankind. In both cases, they are wrong. A sudden heart attack. Something that happens to thousands of people all over the world every day. Most of them do not survive. <laughs> to date, only a small number of people know that scenes like these could be a thing of the past as it is now possible to prevent and treat cardiovascular diseases. Years ago, a German doctor made this pioneering medical breakthrough. The method of treatment he developed means victory over heart death, and it has since been successfully implemented. The name of the scientist is Dr. Matthias Rath. Dr. Rath was born in Stuttgart in 1955. After studying medicine, he went to work at, among others, the University Clinic in Hamburg and the German Heart Center in Berlin. Even in those days, he carried out research into cardiovascular diseases. In 1989, two-time Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling invited him to conduct cardiovascular research at Pauling's Institute in California. There, Dr. Rath published a number of articles on his pioneering scientific discoveries. He had found that diseases of the cardiovascular system, the most common cause of death of our time, are not actual diseases, but the results of a chronic vitamin deficiency, similar to the feared sailor's disease of old, scurvy. Dr. Rath discovered that animals do not suffer from heart infarctions as they are able to produce vitamin C in their own bodies. Humans have lost this ability during evolution. 
At the age of 30, one in every two people will suffer from early arteriosclerosis, hardening of the arterial walls, meaning that arteriosclerotic deposits are formed in the walls of the blood vessels. The cause of these deposits is a chronic lack of vitamins, which leads to a weakening of the artery walls. A total lack of vitamins leads to a breaking up of the blood vessel walls. This leads to scurvy, the disease that took the lives of thousands of sailors in the old days as they bled to death internally. Scurvy is a rarity these days. However, in industrial countries, vitamin deficiency is extremely common. The body tries to heal itself the only way it knows, by strengthening the weakened arteries with an extra layer of cement, cholesterol. Over the years, this will narrow the artery from the inside, leaving less and less room for blood to flow through. In the end, this leads to often fatal heart infarctions and strokes. This is where the vitamin program developed by Dr. Rad steps in. The high dosage supply of vitamin C and other natural substances not only enables the body to halt the development of arteriosclerotic deposits. The amino acids, lysine and proline, contribute to the breaking down and dissolving of existing deposits in the arteries. For a long time now, conventional medicine has limited itself to the treatment of symptoms caused by arteriosclerosis. That there is no need for this can now be proven with a new diagnostic method. The computer tomograph enables us to measure the deposits in a patient's arteries directly, thus establishing the effects of Dr. Rath's vitamin therapy. This is the image of a coronary artery of a 51-year-old patient. We can clearly see the arteriosclerotic deposits. After having engaged in vitamin therapy according to Dr. Rath's method for a year, these deposits have disappeared completely. These images were the first proof in the history of medicine that coronary sclerosis could be reversed. These and other discoveries became the basis of Dr. Rath's health program, which has enabled him in recent years to help a steadily increasing number of patients. Ja, also der Hintergrund war folgender, ich bin äh, Herzbypass operiert, ich habe vier Bypasses bekommen und äh, hatte also einen äh, relativ äh, großen Durchhänge, sprich also der ganze Drive hat mir äh, hinterher gefehlt. Äh, äh, meine Mutter hat äh, das gleiche Problem gehabt und ist äh, über Doktoratprodukte in relativ kurzer Zeit äh, wieder äh, viel mobiler geworden. Ich bin dann auch äh, vor einigen Monaten äh, zu diesen Doktoratprodukten gekommen und habe äh, innerhalb kürzester Zeit also schon äh, enorm auch frei werdende Energien verspürt und auch wieder die Lust, äh, was zu unternehmen. Und siehe da, der Blutdruck sinkt nach und nach. Ich konnte die Diuretika habe ich gleich abgesetzt, auch in Verbindung mit dem Arzt. Und die anderen habe ich inzwischen nach circa acht Wochen Einnahme abgesetzt. Ich habe also heute einen normalen Blutdruck, fühle mich wohl und bin eigentlich sehr dankbar.